how are you feeling or have the have the news have you digested the news as yet um well i'm actually still quite surprised i was not expecting to do this well at all i i i thought i was going to do really well but then when i found out that i did that well it's still i'm not in shock but i'm still surprised okay what was your response when you found out well i um i started crying out and um and then i was told so first i was told that i got into my top my first choice and i started crying but then when i found out that i was the only person to get 100 percent, i started crying even more and um yeah because when i heard on the t on the tv that there was only one girl or one person who who got 100 percent out of all of the students i was like i wonder who that girl is and then i i got the call and i was like wait that girl's me so yeah mm -hmm. Tell me what was was it like preparing for the examination? I used to do work almost every day with my mother after I, after I had done most of my homework and I had finished and I had come back from school. I would do work with my mom and then on the weekends I, I would have lessons and then I would have lessons during the week as well to just reinforce what I had learned already. And yeah, and then on the day I just... There was nothing else that I could do, so I just, when I got in the car, I just, I controlled my breathing, I took deep breaths in and out, and, um, and I was ready. Okay. Um, English. Is English your favorite subject? Well, in the beginning, it was my favorite subject, but then I started doing, I used to do better in English than in math, but then, so I would mostly practice my math to get better in the math, and then... I started doing better in the math and in the English, and so math sort of became as one of my favorite subjects. And so I thought, well, in the common entrance, I'll I'll probably get like a ninety two in English, maybe a ninety six in math. And then I, but I wasn't expecting at all to get to do so well in English. I still did well. I still did really well in the math. But I, you know, I kind of thought that maybe I would have done better in math since I had prepared, I had done most of my work for the math. Mm -hmm. And the comprehensions in the English was something that I always struggled with. It was something that I, I wouldn't say I was bad, but I was never really good at it. Um, so I, I didn't expect to get everything right. But you did. But I did. And again, well done. What have you been doing for fun since the exam? Have you been well, relaxing? Yes, I have. I went to uh, to a beach house, and I had a lot of fun there. And then yesterday, when I got my results back, we got me a cake, and we just celebrated at my dad's friends at a place that they were staying. Mm. And it was just, it was fun. We had a lot of fun. Um, what do you do for fun? And um, what extracurricular activities are you involved in? Um, well, I, I play an instrument. I play the guitar. Um, but I used to do a lot more, but then COVID sort of slowed that down. So I, I don't do a lot now. But for, I like to roller skate as well. And so sometimes on the weekend, I'll go to like... In the evenings, I'll go to the empty car parks, and I'll, I'll go on my roller skates. Oh, and I also crochet. I, I make stuff. Well, I'm making a teddy bear at the moment, so yeah. Okay. What are your future plans? Have you thought about a career as yet? No, I'm not quite sure what I want to do yet. I don't really know, but hopefully when, when as I get older and... Hopefully, secondary school will help me figure out what I like, what I don't like, and hopefully, I'll know what I want to do. You want to be a doctor like mom? <laughs> well, she's told me that it's actually pretty hard, and it's a lot of work, so 
Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if that's what I want to do. <laughs> well, you have a lot of time to figure that out. Anything else you want to add? Anybody in particular you want to thank at this time? Yes, I would like to thank my teacher, Mrs. Thornton. She really helped me a lot. And I would also like to thank my lessons teacher, Mrs. Yako. And my parents, my sister, and my family members, and my grandparents who helped me a lot, who showed me all their support. Okay, if mom is there, anything you would like to say? Um, no, nothing that she hasn't already said. She worked really hard. Um, she deserves um, the, the results that she got. And I think no matter what, she's going to do well wherever she goes. She has, she has a lot of determination, a lot of spirit. And um, she'll do well wherever she goes. So, no, that's all.